Hi guys, I'm Danny from Hootie's Tactical, and here today we're going to talk to you about the soft Kevlar vest. This vest is a level 3A soft Kevlar, uh, and it comes in sizes small, medium, large, and extra large with a tight t-shirt fit. Uh, it also is rated level 3A, and it stops all handgun rounds. So we actually already tested this vest here. Unfortunately, we're out of stock, so we don't have a, a, another new vest, but this vest was already tested. And <clears throat> as you can see, we fired multiple rounds, about six rounds in the front of the vest. If we look at the back of the vest, there was zero uh, bullets went through. There was a small rip up here, and that's only because there was a rock behind it when we shot the round. But again, there's no bullets that penetrated the vest, and there's zero bulge. So now let's actually take it apart and show you the inside of this vest. Let's try to get it out here. All right, so here's the inner, lying, inner lining of the vest. This is the outer covering. Here's our Kevlar, soft Kevlar inner lining. This lining contains multiple layers. So the first layer is a, kind of a soft foam layer on the, the back here. The next layer is a hard plastic. You can see one of the rounds uh, caused the bulge there, so that's what the bulge look like. And then after that is the many rounds of, or sorry, many layers of Kevlar. Uh, there's about 30 different layers of Kevlar uh, right here. And this, this round that was shot in the corner, we can actually see the bullet um, on the inside. So if I peel back the layers of Kevlar, it's about the sixth or seventh layer in. Um, this is the, the actual round that it stopped in the, in the vest. So it only went through about six or seven layers. And again, there's, a, there's about 30 layers of Kevlar. So you can see that this Kevlar vest, you know, stopped the bullet very well before it reached the rest of the layers. So this Kevlar vest stopped the, the bullet that was in here, which is the nine millimeter round. Uh, this vest actually stops up to a 45 caliber round, but unfortunately we don't have the 45 caliber uh, tested, but, but it is capable of stopping 45 cal. All right, guys, so now let's test this soft Kevlar vest and see if it's stab proof. So I've got here my hunting knife, and I'm going to put a couple punctures through, through the vest and see if it will go through. So let's give it a shot. All right, so that's two stabs. Now let's take a, actually, let's keep going. More stabs. All right, there's four stabs. So now let's take a look at the stabs and see what happened. So I, I did multiple stabs about five or six times right in the same spot. And as we can see, it just ripped the fabric on the outside, but the inside layers did not uh, penetrate at all on the back. There's just a little bit of bulge and that's it. So this soft Kevlar level 3A vest is stab proof. And now let's go check out the testing video to show you the results of the test. All right, next up is the soft Kevlar vest. This, this Kevlar is made of the same material as the helmet that we just tested, but it's the soft uh, version and we're gonna fire some rounds of nine millimeter, uh, same rifle, 16 barrel, and we'll see how it holds up. Let's do it. Okay, second shot. That was in the, and now third shot. All right, let's go and take a look. All right, so there's three shots. One was over here in the corner. Second one is in the middle. And the third one was up here. So let's flip it over and see how it, how it did. So as we can see, there's no uh, perforation and the, the uh, vest was able to withstand all three shots across the vest. So it looks like it held up pretty well. So now let's go ahead and fire a few more rounds and see how it holds up. All right, so let's fire three more shots and see how the vest does. Here we go. So here we go, next shot. That was in the middle. And the final shot, here we go. 
All right, let's take a look. So, I just fired three additional rounds, so there's six total. And the last three rounds uh, went here, here, and in the middle. So let's flip it around and see how it did. All right, so from the back, we can see that all six rounds um, had no perforation. Except this one, you can see that it's ripped a little bit. This is just from uh, the rocks that we were firing at behind it that ripped the cloth. And if we peel back the layers, we can see that the actual Kevlar was able to stop the bullet and there's no, no hole there. So out of all six rounds, all of these succeeded the test.